Punta Arenas, Costa Rica is the subject of today's video, and it covers things to do while your cruise ship stops in the beautiful country of Costa Rica. Admittedly, folks, Spanish is not my best language, so if I mispronounce any Spanish, Latin American, or Costa Rican terms, please correct me in the comment section. It'd be nice if you can do it phonetically. Costa Rica is about the size of West Virginia, and if you're sailing on a cruise that stops in Costa Rica on the West Coast, it's going to stop at Punta Arenas or about a 15-minute cab ride to Puerto Caldera. If you enjoy this video, get any good out of it at all, please hit the like button. And remember, at the end of the video, if you'd like to keep up with travel industry news and cruise bargains, just hit the subscribe button in the lower right-hand corner. Most cruise ships stops in Punta Arenas. After you get off the ship, you'll find the main drag, a wide walkway fronting the beach that's full of places to shop and eat. It's even called Paseo de los Turistas, loosely, Stroll of the Tourists. Punta Arenas has become a great kickoff point for eco-adventures, horseback riding, hiking, uh, water kayaking, whitewater rafting, even zip lining. And it's a good kickoff place for shopping. There are numerous uh, rainforest tours available called canopy tours. And it covers everything from a cable car like this, zip lining above the treetops, crossing a bridge into the Monteverde Cloud Forest, boat tours, train tours, and even horseback tours. In this area, you can find over 5% of the planet's plant and animal species, and considering the land mass makes up less than one third of 1%, that's an amazing figure. From iguanas to crocodiles or alligators, I never can tell the difference. Three of my favorite things to do in Costa Rica are the Pura Vida Gardens with the beautiful waterfall, the Monteverde Orchid Garden, and perhaps my favorite, the Macaw Sanctuary Natua. There's a great coffee plantation tour available. It's about 90 minutes away from uh, Punta Arenas in the West Valley. If you like water adventures, there's some terrific scuba diving and snorkeling. Or some terrific waves for surfing. The beaches are awesome, like this day trip to Tortuga Island. A word of warning, if you take a day trip to San Jose, the capital city, remember it's over two hours away and two hours back. So you might want to stick with a cruise sponsored uh, excursion so you'll be guaranteed to be back in time to meet the ship. Sarchi is the arts and craft capital of Costa Rica, about 40 minute drive from Punta Arenas. The Carrara National Park covers both dry forests and rainforests. The Poaz Volcano National Park has one of the world's largest active craters. The Corcovado National Park is a great place to see crocodiles, tapirs, jaguars, monkeys, green macaws, and scarlet macaws. Throughout the area, you'll find some interesting places to eat, like the Costa del Sol restaurant and hotel. La Lida, featuring Latin and Central American cuisine. Awesome steak and seafood at Restaurante Caballo Blanco in Punta Arenas. 
or restaurants on Hill and Manuel Antonio. For such a small area, Punta Reynas is a wonderful stop on a cruise. And remember folks, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to keep up with travel industry news and cruise bargains, down in the lower right hand corner, just hit the subscribe button. And we'll see you on a cruise real soon.